Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking another look at the High Boxing 901A. Now this was my favourite RC car of 2022 at the start of the year. Then the WL Toys 144010 was released. That thing blew me away. But the 901A still has a huge amount of potential. And I've been getting some comments recently, people asking, should I go for one of these over the WL Toys? Well, we're going to cover some of those questions today. And here it is then, this is the 901A by High Boxing, and as you can see, I have been using it, and I've been using it a lot, because I absolutely love the handling, and how it looks, and the overall performance is really, really good. And I love the fact this thing is a budget truck, and I find myself using this more than some of my more expensive models, because with the smaller trucks like this, it's very easy to throw them into a backpack, take them to wherever you're going to, and have a huge amount of fun. Not only does this truck look really cool, but it's also a really good performer on-road. Now, I managed to achieve a fairly decent speed on 2S. I'll stick that on the screen now. Right, let's do this. Let's find out just how fast this truck actually is. Well, straight away, it certainly feels quicker than a lot of the brushed models that I've tried. The LED lights look really, really good. That is flat out, full throttle. Would it do the 27? I was seriously impressed with the 903. That was uh, one of the cheaper brushed models. Out of the box, they said it would do 19, and it actually done 17. And you know, I said in that video, I can let them away with that two miles per hour because with ideal conditions on a really good day, I think that could have reached the 19. Now I'm really hoping we get close to the 27. Right, let's see what we got. 25. I also did another video and tested it out on 3S and it achieved a very good speed. It was really, really quick considering the size of this little truck. Now that's one of the most common questions on my channel lately. Can this thing handle a 3S pack? And can it handle that long term? Well, yes, absolutely. As long as you're not stressing out the electronics too much by running 3S off road, it can handle 3S all day long. Now we managed to achieve 25 miles per hour on the 2S test on the initial review that I did. which was two miles per hour short of the 27 mile per hour promised speed. Right, let's bring it back in and see what we got. 36. I'm not gonna be covering this truck in too much detail today. If you wanna know what's going on under the body shell, you wanna check out the spec, then I have done a full review video on this truck. Uh, I actually did that earlier on in the year, and I will leave a link in the description below if you wanna head over to check that one out. I'll also stick the link to the free S speed run video, so be sure to check that one out as well. Now you may have noticed the LED light bar at the top there isn't working, and that is because I have actually broken it. I've broken one of the little pins on the connector, but that's a quick, easy fix, and apart from that, everything on this truck has been bulletproof. So we're going to give this thing a quick run on the pump track here. We're going to cover some of the questions that people have been asking in the comment section and we're going to do all of that before it rains. So here we go then, I'm running this on 2S today and it's definitely been getting some use every time I go out bashing. This is one of those trucks I really cannot leave in the box and that does happen to a lot of the review samples that are sent to me. I'll do the initial review and then they'll never be seen again. But with this thing, I really can't help myself because I absolutely love it. So let's start with the first question then, and that is, is this thing better than the 144010? I think if you're looking for something a little bit bigger than the 144010, and in the 2S and 3S range, this is gonna be a really good option for you. It's so quick. I just love the way this thing handles. And because it's nice and light, it definitely helps. And like I've mentioned in my previous videos, being a high boxing, they're very durable. They use some very good plastic on their models. <laughs> I 
Oh, I love this little thing. Love it. And the brushless system feels nice and powerful. More than enough for this little car. <laughs> now something else people remind me of when looking at the comment section is the WL Toys has more metal bits. This thing is primarily made out of plastic, the chassis is plastic. Uh, but you do get metal drive shafts, you've obviously got your metal oil filled shocks which feel really really nice. Now just because this thing is primarily plastic, please don't let that put you off because plastic, especially the high boxing plastic, is going to be a lot more durable. And not only that, we've said it so many times before, plastic flexes as opposed to metal which bends. <laughs> Let's talk prices then because that's usually what it comes down to when people are looking for a new RC car, especially in the budget range. Now I think this thing is selling for about £117 at the moment. I'll stick the dollars conversion on the screen. And the 144010 is selling for about £96 at the moment. So it is a little bit cheaper than this. But again, you are getting the extra size with this. Handling wise, I think they're definitely both on point. Both really good handling machines. The WL Toys is going to be the slightly more powerful option, so if you're looking to do speed runs and all of that stuff, that might be the one to go for. But yeah, it's an everyday basher that you can take anywhere. You really can't go wrong with the 901A. So there we go then guys, that was the HBX 901A, back out again for another run. And what can I say, again, performed really, really well. Absolutely love these little trucks. And I think it is a hard decision whether or not to get one of these or the WL Toys. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say the WL Toys is better. And yes, to a certain extent, I do agree, but we have to give the 901A a chance because it's a great little truck. So can this thing handle 3S then? Well, yes, absolutely. If you're running on road, this thing will do 3S all day long. You're not gonna be stressing the electronics too much. If you're primarily looking to run off-road or on the dirt, or like what I've been doing today, then I would say stick to 2S. 2S is more than enough on this little truck. And being so light, 3S just feels a little bit too crazy, uh, in my opinion anyway. Uh, the other question people have been asking, is this better than a WL Toys? They're two completely different models. That is a buggy. This thing is a desert buggy. Uh, very similar, but I think they're both good at different things. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care. Yeah.